My name is Elizabeth Bourne, and I'm an artist and photographer living in the world's northernmost town of Longerbien, Svalbard. If you don't know where Svalbard is, find a world map and locate Greenland. Go to the top of Greenland and look to the right. That little cluster of islands is Svalbard, and that is where I live. As the talking heads say, how did I get here? In 2017, I was part of a photography expedition to Greenland and Svalbard, and it changed my life. When I returned to Seattle, I knew I had to live in the Arctic, that this was the place that would inspire my work and that I would do anything to return there. In 2018, I packed seven suitcases and moved to Longerbien. I strongly believe in daily practice. I photograph where I live every day. I've lived here now for six years. And what I know is that if you keep going out and keep walking the same places day after day, the landscape reveals itself to you. There will always be the grandeur of the mountains around you to photograph. But the more time you spend walking, the more you see. You notice the smaller details, the changes that happen with light and shadow. For me, it's like observing the face of a loved one. You note their expression as they smile or frown or the sun crosses their face. The coming of lines and gray hairs. And if love is true, you love them more for it. I photograph everything. Some days this is on foot and some days from a boat or a snowmobile. I look at this place by climbing inside the glacier's ice caves and by walking the tundra in the dark with a headlamp and rifle. I'm not always out of town. Many days are spent photographing Longerbien, where change is also a constant and life is lived at 11. Recently, I spoke with another artist about his practice and he mentioned studying tea ceremony that for a tea master, an integral part of the ceremony may be getting up at 3 a.m. and hiking a mountain to collect snow water melted by the dawn's light, that that kind of intentionality should inform one's work. This resonated with me. I don't think it's necessary for a viewer to know what I went through to make a particular image, but I strongly hope that my intention and passion inform my photographs and that it is somehow communicated to the viewer. I can't control that, but I hope it's so. I love Svalbard. I can see how climate change is affecting this place. I have enough recorded images that I can look back and compare then and now, and the differences are noticeable. For me, it has become a duty as well as a passion to document everything so that there will be a record of this glorious, fragile place so that we can see what we have done. Thank you for listening.